out of all the possible nightmare scenarios that I had in my head for this game, this was probably the worst one that I never even thought of. I didn't even comprehend the ability for Justin Herbert to play the way that he just did. I don't know what is going on with him. I think that finger on his left hand may be messing him up even more than we're actually thinking because I don't think throughout that entire game I saw a single snap from him under center. It was all shotgun and all pistol. And also, all of the play calls on offense were not as good as I wanted them to be, as I was expecting them to be, because Kellen Moore, we are always talking about, there's that stat out there that the Chargers have five more points on offense compared to last year, and the Cowboys have five less points. But we'll get into that, man. Justin Herbert did not look like he should have, like he has been playing throughout this year. He still had really great pocket presence. His pocket presence was awesome, but he was missing Keenan Allen consistently. And by the way, let's go on to the good. Just really quick, Keenan Allen is a freaking elite wide receiver. He is one of the best in the league, and he proved it again tonight. He was wide open on two routes right up the seam where Justin Herbert should have put him on the dot and gotten a touchdown, but he couldn't do it. For whatever reason, Herbert was off tonight. Keenan Allen, though, he seems to always play well against the Cowboys, and he flashed. He is still elite. He is one of the best wide receivers in the league, and he proved it. Now, back to Justin Herbert. How do you have the ball with two minutes left to go? You're an elite quarterback. You have all of these weapons around you, and you throw an interception. We have to start talking about this because it seems like consistently – Justin Herbert has a little bit of that Phillip Rivers in him. He's throwing interceptions late in the game. He's not playing well late in the game, and he can't get that clutch gene in him. I mean, earlier in his career, he was getting some clutch games and all of that, but now it just seems like there's always something that's going against him. He's always got an injury or something. There's bad coaching, or the protection breaks down like it did in this game. The protection broke down and got sacked by Micah Parsons. And then, very next play, he steps up in the pocket. Someone comes up, hits him as he throws it to Quentin Johnston, and it's an interception by freaking Stephon Gilmore. And by the way, Quentin Johnston, why are we not throwing the ball? to Quentin Johnston, two targets in this entire game to Quentin Johnston and Darius Davis. Neither of them were being incorporated at all into this freaking offense. And the one time that you threw to Quentin Johnson before that interception, he was open. But Justin Herbert couldn't get the freaking ball to him because he was hit as he was throwing that ball. If Quentin Johnson was able to get that ball with a competitive throw... He might have gotten up like 50, 60 yards or whatever that was. That was a deep pass, and he was open. And then that second target at the end of the game, the interception, there's no chance. No chance for Quentin Johnson on either of his targets. Darius Davis, you didn't even give that man a chance. He looked so good just last week against the Raiders. What happened to that? And also, what happened to this entire offense? All of these penalties, man. It was so so tough to watch and when it comes to penalties it's gotta look you gotta look at coaching that's what you have to do and look i i wrote down a little list right here oh, fourth down in the red zone and they didn't make it the play call listen to me i know a lot of people are not gonna like this but this is the one decision that the coaching staff made that everyone is looking at right now and thinking man i wish we had those points because those three points, that changes the game. The seven points, maybe, win the game. But you go forward and fourth down in the red zone. I liked the play call. I liked the decision. You got to go out there and win the game. Fourth and short, and you have Justin Herbert. Get him on a rollout and throw it on the run. That's exactly what they were trying to do. Keenan Allen was on the opposite side. He was coming on the left side. They were rolling out to the right side. He was looking for him, wasn't open, then he threw it. Just just missed him. I mean, that uh, right there, you just got to say, hey, fair play. Fair play on that one. That's just how the ball rolls sometimes. But when it comes to the stupid decisions like Derwin James hitting that guy right before the half, and then the Cowboys go up and let a field goal. That field goal changes the outcome of games. And Brandon Staley constantly talks about not making mistakes, playing clean football, and winning that middle eight that we always talk about. Brandon Staley's always talking about win that middle eight. 
the last four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half. And the Chargers are always so bad at the middle eight, like consistently. I don't understand it. And then the Wildcat play, what the heck? What was going on there? It seems like nobody on offense knew what was going on there. So many penalties, so many dumb mistakes all of the time. And then what is the the thing with this defense? Because CeeDee Lamb was dominating us like this entire game. Defense, by the way, was actually not playing terribly against the run. They were playing pretty well. But when it came to Dak Prescott on the run, but he was looking like freaking Cam Newton out there. He was looking like Steve Young. Why was Dak Prescott playing like he was prime Lamar Jackson out there and the Chargers could not get him? It was so, so frustrating, man. This loss is just, I feel it. This loss made my bolt shrink. I'm going to be honest with you. It sucks to take a loss like this and go to two to three because the stats, playoff stats, uh, for three and two teams versus two and three teams, I think it like doubles your playoff chances uh, going three to two to two to three. Right now we're two to three. I mean, we can still make the playoffs. Obviously, the season's not over, but Justin Herbert just had an off night, man. And he's still an elite quarterback. I don't know why in times that like this late in the game, he just doesn't get it. I... I and it wasn't just Justin Herbert on this offense that wasn't working, okay? It was also the offensive line. Justin Herbert was under pressure a lot. Uh, they only let up like one or two sacks the entire game. I think it was only one sack in the Mike, Micah Parsons one in the last drive of the game. But again, that's kind of typically what happens. We saw it earlier in the season too. I think it was against the Dolphins, right? Where you have a guy coming in and you have a stunt move trying to get in that uh, B gap to isolate the guard, and it always works. Late in the game, it always freaking works. Micah Parsons was the man running the stunt move and actually took on the guard and the tackle, split them, and made the sack. Micah Parsons is just a freaking elite player. But back to what I was talking about with this offense. Austin Eckler could not run the ball at all in this game. The offensive line was not getting any space for him. Austin Eckler, even out wide, was very rarely able to do anything. He had a pretty good first quarter. This Chargers offense had a really good first drive. That was awesome to see, but that's what makes this offense so frustrating because they have great drives like that. I can't even talk because I'm so angry, man. They have great drives like that first one, and then they have terrible drives where nothing is freaking working. And that last drive of the game, people are going to be dogging on Justin Herbert because of that last drive and saying he can't win a game. And also, they're going to be saying that Justin Herbert played terrible in this game, which he, he didn't play terrible. He just wasn't as good as he usually is. He was missing throws. He was just, I think, honestly, I think there's something wrong. With that hand, I think it's messing with him. Like I said, I don't think we saw a single snap under center. I don't think they saw a single one. But listen, here is here are my main frustrations right now. The coaching staff. What are we doing with all these penalties? And like, it, it's stupid stuff too. Like illegal shift, uh, illegal motion, illegal man downfield. What, why are there so many illegals here? Let's, let's stop that right now, okay? Can we stay legal on offense? Because there were so many plays specifically to Josh Palmer. Josh Palmer had some good catches, by the way. He was not bad. He was clearly Justin Herbert's second favorite target behind Keenan Allen, the best wide receiver in the league. But all of these penalties, you're getting so much yardage called back. You cannot establish a rhythm and a winning culture on offense if you have so many penalties, you need to coach these players up and not a allow all of these penalties to happen, man. And it was on the Cowboys, too. Like, the refs were just kind of really throwing that thing out there. I, I, I don't know what was going on the entire night with them, but it's coaching with the, all of these penalties, these dumb mis de decisions that freaking charges are making in the red zone and also in the middle eight section of the game. Oh, gosh, this one was just, it was so close. It was right there. It's just frustrating, man, because when the defense is playing well, the offense is not. And then when the offense is playing well, the defense is not. And they they need to just be cohesive, have a nice cohesive unit, 
I think Justin Herbert is more injured than we think. I think Corey Lindsley being out of this lineup is really affecting this offense. As we saw, Will Clapp didn't really perform that great. No one on that Chargers offensive line really was playing all that great. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a bigger and better, more fleshed out thoughts tomorrow. But this is just my instant reaction because I'm fucking upset. I'm quite upset right now. And I just need to get this video out there. I know a lot of you guys are going to be upset too. Let me know what you guys are most upset about. The offense or the defense, man. Because for me, it's got to be... And you know what? Let's have a third category out. Just throw a third category out there like the refs throwing the flags in this game. Or coaching. Are you more upset with offense, defense, or coaching? For me, I'm going to be honest with you. Coaching is a little is pretty close right there. But I'm more upset with this offense because... I want Justin Herbert to consistently play at an elite level. I know, listen, it's tough to ask for, but when you're paying a guy that much money and he is literally the face of the franchise, he is the entire offense. He's like the entire team, basically. I know we got a lot of weapons around him like Keenan Allen, but Justin Herbert is the guy. I want Justin Herbert to always have a great game. Tonight, man, he just didn't. And that is very, very disappointing for me as a Chargers fan. I'm going to call it how I see it. I'm always going to support the Chargers. Always going to support Justin Herbert. But man, just didn't have a good game tonight. Sometimes that's how it is. Let me know what you guys think. Offense, defense, or coaching. What are you most upset with? Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe too if you made it to the end. I just, oh my gosh. Have a better freaking review tomorrow about this game. Better takeaways. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man.